and I got this footage and I've been waiting for a long time to try to go ahead and put this up so I can show you that basically you always get sun from this way more than just you always get more we always get sunlight from way more than just one sun as you can see the most brightest part comes from another sun super giant one that's way the heck out as you see it coming around you'll see the shiny bright spot see that right there by my arrow as it comes around to the left I'll keep my arrow there and you see that or it just came over top by my arrow comes around again Now you got to realize that if that was the Sun then where you see the black dark shadow you see the bright spot coming around why wouldn't there be a nice big pattern like the Sun you see so we get super giant suns which are stars that's why we always basically have three suns in our solar system okay we got one sun in our solar system and then you're thinking well come on you know you just you just basically refuted yourself no we always have a chain of three stars we have the one that gives us the most light is our sun in our solar system the other light that you get as you can see where my arrow is sitting at when it comes around you get that bright spot and sometimes you will be able to notice that there's actually more than just the two the big one that you can see that's lighting up earth and then the other brightnesses that you will see if you keep watching this footage you'll see it to the right okay see it to the right it's still there when it comes around so I can't divulge which satellite that this is that's doing this. Uh, I was going to be smart ass to say something too without saying the name of it, but you'd be able to figure out somewhat. But anyway, this is footage. Uh, I believe you have to count. And remember, it's not an optical illusion. Earth's not sitting still, it's rotating, okay? So now a light strobe doesn't float around on Earth and light Earth up, okay? It's basically a satellite that's stuck in position and the weather, and yes, the land is in the same position. But see, it's locked on its position on Earth, folks. Okay. So, Earth rotates to the east, to the sun, and then the sun disappears to the west. And as you can see, you can see uh, Mexico and America right here. You can see the coast. That's the coast of California there, pretty much. There's Baja. Baja down here. Okay, and then there's Mexico. Mexico's down here. And there's America. And this is all North America there. All North America there. Basically, from my arrow up here, all North America up there. Okay, so you see the weather and the land sitting still from the satellite shot. And then you see the days go by. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, pretty unique kind of ladies and gentlemen. I never get to see footage like this very often. Remember, Earth rotates to the east, so you're not seeing the rotation of Earth because it's it's land. This satellite is landlocked on its position. 
So the marble keeps rolling to the east. And once again, like I say, you see the satellite orbits with Earth. So if anybody's confused, you see what I'm saying? It's locked on, watching North America and watching that jet stream there. But basically, it's just watching, it's staying locked on the position of Earth. Pretty much eyeballing up there, North America. And like I said before, you can watch and you can see that that's Baja there, Baja Peninsula basically down here because I moved my arrow but Baja Peninsula down there along my arrow coming down Baja Peninsula Peninsula Baja Peninsula right there okay so then you got America Baja Peninsula Mexico so anyway I thought I'd share this footage with you and actually finally I'm gonna make a short video so anybody who's not mesmerized by the, or just you know the facts are just remember it's landlocked on its position and earth is rotating to the east which basically Earth is actually rotating in this satellite at the same speed because the satellite is taken is locked on to the same rotation speed as Earth. Okay? And Earth keeps rotating east this way to the sun. And as you see the sun comes and goes away because Earth is rotating and the satellite is rotating right along with it at the exact same speed, pretty much. Because the satellite's locked on to the position. But you do get to be able to notice the factual that you have a supergiant out behind farther away than just if the sun lights up the majority that you see on Earth. Sun lights up the majority, but as you can see that bright spot that comes around, there's a supergiant that's larger than it's more than likely Rigel Cantaris A or B. It's bigger than the sun, brighter. And there's that little bright spot right there. Because as you can see with the shade, when it comes around, you know, when you see that coming around like that, when you see that shade coming around, that bright spot, and then you've got shade like that in the dark, in the nighttime, in the darkness of space, you know that basically, there, you always get basically get three stars that are always glimmering on the bright side of Earth as it does its rotation around. So that's why a lot of times, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and explain that in the video here. I'll go ahead and I'll go over to Solar Artist and I'll show you where you get the hot spot so I can show you a temperature. And that's why sometimes you will get this brightest portion of supergiant sun, which is not the sun, because you can see because of the shadow when it comes around, you see that the idea that if that brightness, it should almost dip into the, the night. And then I also I'll show some other thing from Nehemiah tonight. Now I'm not sure, but no matter what, from we're gonna it's gonna be at 120 in a second. I'll back up. What 120? It's dark, and I can even go back a little farther, and it's just darker as heck up at Nehemiah. Okay, and then I'll get back to 120, and then bam, 130. And that's a.m. in the morning UTC time down there at Nehemiah Station. Something is bright enough to brighten up the sky. And that's not the other side of the sun. As you can see, and what I did it for an example was for factual. Go back, back up the video. It'll save me video time so I can get the other part showing you the factual. You see, you see it's 1.30. 120 is dark, 130, 140 pretty much goes back to dark around 2 o'clock, okay? So as you can see, it's a super giants. It's a good example of the super giants and that there's way more than, we always have more, at least three stars shining on, which are suns that are shining on Earth all the time. Remember the physicist that died at NASA at a young age, 
think he was just 50 something. He knew that we had three super, three, three suns glow on earth all the time. Okay. It's not just a simple straight, just this, just not just the sun because the solar, the space is infinite, ladies and gentlemen. So there's always going to be chains of stars out there and there's super giants. There's, you know, when you look at the night sky, there's infinite amount of stars. Okay. Okay. So this is a good example here of boom, darkness. And pretty much goes back to dark. So you get that light to go away. Then later on, the sun will come up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the hot spots that you'll get. So you'll notice the super giant suns, that there's always at least three suns. And there's actually more than that when you really realize how many stars are out there. Just go out at night at nighttime and look at how many stars are glimmering down on Earth. Pretty wild CME right now too, fresh night because basically uh, this came off the backside of the sun. I had this on black and white earlier from Navy. I'll see if I got a shot of that real fast. Pretty badass CME off the backside. Won't hit Earth. That's off the backside. Because remember from ahead, from ahead. Remember Earth's over here to the left. Okay, because it heads up to the right hand side, remember, when you're looking off of Earth, Earth is directly ahead of the sun right here in front, somewhere over here Earth is, and the satellite's up over here to the e to the right hand side when you're looking at the sun. But if you go out and face east and look at the sun, not west when it's going down, east in the morning when it's coming up, and there you go, CME, recent CME. They get a little peek into my, uh, in the future when I have, when you make donation, you can go to my space weather watching and it basically brings it all the way down to your earth weather. You can predict four weeks ahead of time your weather that's coming to you. And basically, you can see on the, on the ionosphere, on the ionospheric display, you can see here, because I got an old shot, because I'm going to show you the newer shots right now. And basically, it's a little bit lower right now than what we had here. So we're not getting that much off of the sun right now, off the suns right now, but check this out. Cause see, you can see where you get the super giants more than just the sun that give us light. And through this, uh, you can see on the, the different heat patterns, okay, on the ionospheric. And then what I can also do is give you a the heat index map, which it doesn't show very good either right now, but then it's a little cooler up there. You're not really gonna get the heat spot on it. But see, this is the blown up map, but right now, you don't really, it's not really that high right now, as you can see over here. And so you, you, you know that you get more than, it's not just hot spots off the sun that do it. Now, there are some hot spots on the sun, especially when you have them uh, heating up. You know, when we do have spots on the sun, i.e., I'll, I'll basically go to and show you the far side real fast, and, and I'll show you some spots that basically blew on the sun a while ago and I'll see if I got anything loaded up and see if it shows uh, I think it was last night on my talk group I showed them the idea that or maybe it was this afternoon that we had a big, this afternoon it was, we had a big explosion on the back side of the sun so this basically shows you how it's not just the sun that's hitting earth all the time okay and Yes, some of the hot spots on the sun do create like this possibly, but the majority of this is like from a super giant here and a super giant there, i.e. the little red spots back up the video on the smaller shot that I showed you from my uh, website. That's basically a secret address because you're only going to get there with you going with a donation. But you can go to Beano Reports News free all the time. You can always go to Beano Reports here free all the time and basically as long as they don't blind you too much you go down here through the news and stuff like that uh, I did put some links in here for uh, you got the Bilderberg leaks in there too everybody talks about that stuff but I do have some weather links that I put in here that you can all the time get the fresh weather a lot of stuff that people like. and I put some earthquake links in here and then on the very bottom too George Jones passed away not too long ago a little tribute to him there and then basically got chemtrails and some other videos that I refresh in a little bit what's going on and stuff like that. And then all the way to the top, I usually will have new videos every once in a while in here too. Okay, pull, shift, what's going on with the Bilderberg Society. You can always get this from my YouTube. Wild stuff in the back sun right now. 
Peter and Fort Lynch.